In today's video, I will share with you my experience with my electric XP 3.0 bike. Now, it's been close to a year since I made this purchase and I can happily say that I've had no regrets so far. As a matter of fact, I've journeyed it 5 days a week to and from work in various weather conditions, whether it be sunny days, rainy days and even snow during the winter season. The bike was able to withstand all these weather conditions with no major issues to report. However, the bike did require minor maintenance procedures, one of which recently involved the replacement of the disc pads. Let me just backtrack a little bit. Thinking about it now, I can recall two scary experiences that I had while riding the bike that could have resulted in disaster, but I will explain what happened in a separate video. So the first issue to mention was that the chain began to rust because of the salt it was used on the roads during the winter. As a result, I purchased a lubricant to restore the chain to its original state. And here's the brand oil that I purchased from Amazon. It's called Finish Line One Step. While this cleaner lubricant does a decent job lubricating the chain without attracting excessive dirt, it needs to be used on a regular basis, especially after rainfall. The greater issue though is with the shocks on the bike. If you take a good look, you see that water somehow got between the seal and must have gotten to the shaft housing, resulting in what appears to be rusting or maybe it is dilution of the grease within the shock housing, which basically have caused the shocks to become rigid and almost ineffective in absorbing the bumps on the roads. Now the temporary solution was to use the chain lubricant on the shaft, which worked for a while, but its effectiveness in restoring flexibility was very limited and not as effective as I would like as it is clear that water still remains within the housing. The seat assembly also suffered the same fate. Now I've since ordered a product from Amazon that is designed for bicycle shocks and I will provide an update as soon as I receive this product and test its effectiveness. So far these are the issues that I've had with the bike and in closing there are four parts on the bike that need maintenance periodically. The two front shocks, the seat shock and the bike chain.